Hello, this is Josh, the first mate on the AJ Mirwald, bringing you another glimpse into the life on the Bayshore. Today, I would like to talk to you about a few of the shells that you find here in New Jersey. Did you know that every shell that you find used to be a living creature? That's right, they're not just empty husks that you find on the beach. There actually used to be animals living inside these shells. Now, there are a lot of animals that live on land and in the ocean that do not have a backbone like you or I. A backbone or a spine is made out of vertebrae, just like this one. This is a fish's vertebrae. Fish have a backbone just like you do, but not all animals have a backbone. You're probably the most familiar with arthropods. Arthropods are things like insects and spiders, which are arachnids, or crustaceans like crabs. These animals have a skeleton or a shell on the outside of their body. That exterior shell and skeleton is actually called an exoskeleton. You guys have probably heard that word before. This is a broken horseshoe crab exoskeleton, and this is a spider crab exoskeleton. Now, as these animals grow, they actually have to molt or shed these shells in order to get larger. Imagine that you were a baby and you were stuck inside a suit of armor and you wanted to get bigger. You wouldn't be able to get any bigger unless you took that armor off. These animals make their shells out of chitin, which is the same material as your fingernails. And therefore, it decomposes pretty quickly and doesn't typically leave behind seashells like you would find on the beach. And if you take them home, as you can see, they tend to fall apart. The shells that you find on the beach are from different types of organisms or invertebrates. They're called mollusks. There's many different types of mollusks, including cephalopods, which are like octopuses, squids, and nautiluses, which you may or may not have heard of, bivalves, and gastropods. Now, octopuses and cephalopods have a shell on the inside of their body. So they don't typically leave behind shells that you can find on the beach. Most of the shells that you find on the beach are typically left behind from gastropods or bivalves, like clams. Now, like I said, there's lots of different types of these shells and we're gonna go into them just a little bit. Let's break down the words a little bit. It'll help you determine which type of animal is what. So there's bivalves, and bi means two, like a bicycle. So if you look at these shells, they would actually all have two shells. So this oyster is a type of bivalve, has two shells, just like this. This mollusk would also have two shells, the clam as well, and the scallop. This is a mussel. Um, now, oysters, when they get older, they actually can't move. They're what's known as sessile. So they spend their entire adult lives just attached to something, usually other oyster shells. As you can see here, these are baby oysters or spat, which have attached to this adult oyster shell. Mussels are similar. As babies are planktonic, they can swim around, but as they get older, they'll attach to something and never move again. Clams retain their pseudopod. That's like a foot, and they have an eye spot that they can use to see light and dark. They're good at crawling around and digging in the mud. This guy is unique, however. The scallop has very strong muscles. It's able to open and shut and can actually swim. It's the only bivalve that can swim. Now let's go into our single-shelled mollusks, the ones that you're probably very familiar with for finding on the beach. Now these look like conchs. They're actually whelks. All the animals you see here are from New Jersey. This is a knobbed whelk. This is a channel whelk, a waved whelk, and this isn't a whelk at all. This is a moon snail. Now, gastropods are a little different. The word gastropod means stomach foot. So these creatures actually crawl around on their bellies. Um, slugs are also gastropods. However, their shells are inside their body. So again, they're not gonna leave that shell behind on the beach. Do you have any collections of shells at home? If you do, please post a picture of them in our comment section below. This has been Josh, 
at the Bayshore Centre, bringing the Bayshore to you.